Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. We are on some MX bikes and uh, this looks very, very pretty. I'm going to be honest, we don't get too many night tracks in the game this day, these days, but uh, we have Mr. Nugget Boy right here, very loyal subscriber to the channel, has made his third, I hope it's his third, I hope I haven't missed one along there, uh, third track on the game now. Uh, again, I'm not going to try and pronounce it, it starts with a K, I'm not German, I apologise, but it, welcome to K. <laughs> And uh, it looks really, really pretty. Yeah, really pretty indeed. I've been behind the ball a little bit in terms of recent track releases. So I know this one's been out for a couple of days now at this point. Uh, but I wanted to give it a go just because of its uniqueness, I guess, overall. And uh, it seems like Nugget Boy has in improved his, his craft with each track he's created. And having a little look around here, I see multiple, multiple, multiple lines in each and every corner. Uh, I'm going to ride the 450 today which uh, i'm not sure how it's gonna ride in game i mean nugget boys scaling on previous tracks seems to work more for the 250 side of things uh, but i'm trying to put as much time in on the ktm 450 as possible at the moment leading up to red bud and hopefully i can keep the red plate i mean it's, there's a lot of pressure the red plate is very very heavy these days i feel like eu 450s is just stacked compared to uh, anything else at the moment um, but we're going to give it a go we're going to see how it is i'm going to Rock a setup that I feel somewhat comfortable on. And uh, this again, if you haven't seen previous videos, this is the bike that I'm going to be rocking for Red Bud. We're all red, white, and blued out. And uh, gear is still to come. This is just a inter intermediary gear for the time being. Uh, these these are very, very large people. Damn. The WNBA called. They want they want their woman back. And uh, oh, is that, oh, hang on, hang on. Is that... Is That's not Diana, is it? I haven't seen Diana in a while. Is this Diana? Miss Dahlgren? Uh, no, it's not. Okay. Ign ign ignore me. Never mind. Right. Let's see what this is all about then. First person mode engaged. Now, I did have a look at the track map prior to this and uh, starts weird around here. So, normal terms, you would go left and then hook a hard right. But on lap one lap map on the whole track, you go right through here instead, even though the normal track is right, right next to you. I'm guessing it's a replica track, so we can only go off of what there is. Um, but then, yeah, you go around to the right here rather than up on, on the normal track and you rejoin on this bit. Maybe it's just a bit sketchy to ride the normal bit, IRL. But I, I have no idea, but let's see how this goes. Already there is a good amount of rough, like a good amount of chop coming up this hill already to slow you down a little bit. A little table down the hills, try and get on the brakes. Oh, they are choppy. They are very, very choppy. Noted, right. I think you might be better off... Oh, keeping the bike in a slightly taller gear coming down that hill and coasting more than actually getting on the brakes because uh, that's what caused my bike to step out from underneath me there. Now, if this follows normal Nugget Boy tracks, this should be, actually be a very fast track as well, even though it's quite technical. You can go got choppy bumps down here. I like how unique and ununiform all these ruts are. They've all got their own different characteristics. I must remember to check up for that next time. We'll row the outside here, scrub down this bad boy. Got another single here, so I'm going to take my time. Careful over all the chop. Slot into the inside rut. Just going to try and stay up on the pegs so that the bike soak up all the bumps as well as possible. Now, if you are looking for some general advice recently, maybe you're someone that you're right on the cusp of qualifying for aerial races all the time, maybe you're just like a second or two seconds off the pace and you want something to work on and improve upon, uh, work on standing up in corners. Just work on standing up more in general. Because I don't know at what point in time and at what update it happened on, but I find I get a lot less uh, wonky physics these days when I stand up on the pegs rather than sitting down. Even in corners, uh, one thing that I'd done, I think it was straight after Parlour, so I think in time for Hangtown, was I increased my gain, which uh, if you go to your settings, it's on the input one tab on the right hand side. Uh, I, used, I used to run like 92 gain. And I upped it to 97, so now I can stand up in deep ruts and still get the bike cranked over far enough to make it around the corners. And I would advise experimenting with that a little bit, because uh, you'll notice, especially when races progress and the ruts get deeper and you start dragging foot pegs and handlebars, etc., and just insta crashing because your bars have touched the ground, uh, the, the likeliness of that happening when you're stood up is so much lower. It's almost like you've just got a bit more a bit more clearance from the bike than when you're sat down. So definitely give it a go. One thing that I've done to even... Uh, help myself get better at that was I spent about 15 minutes with my sit button unbound and just span span laps ran laps uh, so I couldn't even sit down even if I wanted to and it's a very very helpful uh, technique to learn helpful drill I've noticed that it always seems to be a bit like um, real life in a way there's a little bit of a divide because uh, I think everyone started standing up on the EU side of things because of Finn like that's Finn's riding style when he was 
by far the dominant rider in the first two rounds and he seems to be a bit more human these last couple i don't know if people are getting better or if he's just had an off ones and i know that he tried the honda at southwick so we'll write that one off for him as well um but yeah it's kind of because of him that people have gone oh hang on is this the is this the new meta is this the easiest and the fastest way of playing the game so i noticed a lot of people in eu stand up and then alternatively uh, i go and watch some of the na POVs back every now and then, whether it's racks or skills, whether it might be at the time. And uh, I just see a lot of sitting down by everyone. Now, I saw, I can't remember who it was, um, but at Southwick, I saw skills come up to pass somebody because it was in Moto 2 when they'd done the whole waiting 20 seconds for everyone to go thing. And hang on, get this triple, nice. And uh, he came up behind someone and it was in one of the long right hand sweepers close ish to the finish line. It was this really, really whooped out corner, and the guy was just sat down the entire time. And it's like, bro, my my ring is stinging watching this. Like my cheeks, <laughs> I'm getting monkey ass. Like that's how bad it looks. And uh, yeah, not uh, not ideal by any means. Uh, if you have no idea what uh, monkey ass is, by the way, I'm not sure if that's a, a UK or parts of the UK slang thing. But uh, you know, we see the baboons and they've got like a completely red bum comparison to the rest of their body. That is uh, that's what I'm referring to. That is how my cheeks felt watching so other people <laughs> sitting down so much in the rough stuff. But yeah, 100% stand up. You will not regret it. I don't think the 450 was a bad choice at all around here. There's definitely one or two jumps where you want to check up a little bit for. Um, but the straights in between, like the constant jumps, do seem to be quite long. And uh, standing up and getting on the power of his bumps is very, very enjoyable. You can still ride this on a 250, absolutely. Probably have fun around here on a 125 as well. You would just be much more on the limit. Whereas on the 450, it's a lot more of a like a casual experience. You haven't got to put in as much effort. You can just stand up, bang the throttle open, make sure you're not leaning back too fast, you don't loop your larry over some of these bumps, and uh, just have a good time all around. I had no idea, looking at these uh, markers that he's got around the side, the green ones, I... I don't, are these custom made or are these... No, they, they do. Yeah, I think he might have made them himself. I'm saying the uh, the service ones, the, the yellow ones that you get uh, in place part of like, track assets that you can download from mods, I believe. Uh, I didn't I don't think it came with a PSD at all, so I think you're stuck with the yellow, but it looks like he's made this himself, which is... Um, it probably is a lot easier than I make it out to be. I imagine, like, when I think of modelling fins in Blender, uh, I don't know why, I just imagine it being very, very difficult. I'm sure after a couple of tutorials you'll be able to make something as, as simple as a steak no problem at all something tells me you don't want to get the far inside gate when you're starting on this track because that's not the uh that's not the most ideal of situations that you want to be doing at the start of a race i just sort of saw it as i was hitting the right hander after hitting the finish line that is nuts okay um, so yeah note to self if you are doing a public lobby around here then move more towards the centre of the grid. And it is nice seeing um, Nuggets tracks being put onto public lobby servers. Uh, recently, I've started dabbling on the MXBMM servers. They're not very popular during the day in UK time, unfortunately. It's more for the US times that they start getting filled up. But it's basically the uh, replacement to the Papiti servers, where it's uh, match like matchmaking, MMR-based, blah, 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 MX Bikes races, where you beat people, your score goes up, you lose to people, your score goes down. Uh, just Google MXBMM and the website will come up if you want to look into it. Um, but yeah, I've been dabbling in those a little bit here and there, and I saw one of like the rotational tracks was Nugget's last track, uh, which again, I will not try and pronounce the name of because I'm just going to be a million miles off. Uh, but it's very, very fun. The class I was doing to fair was locked to 250s, and there are some huge jumps on that track, so it was pretty like on rails and pinned everywhere. But it was a really fun time, and I don't know if anyone remembers me mentioning this the other day. Um, I, I might not even said it in video. I might have been just talking to the boys in Discord. But this is going to be like the most third world problem ever that you're about to hear, which is the faster you get in this game, the less fun it is. And what I mean by that is on the race that we done on Nugget Boy's last track, uh, I, was, I think there was only about 10 people. There's, like The server, it wasn't packed by any means. Um, but I was just having a very, very normal race, just riding around, just weren't, wasn't crashing, just putting in decent lap times. And I was about 30 seconds in the lead. When I look at the max HUD on the left-hand side that shows you everyone else's like positions and times away, etc. I kid you not, second through to 10th so every other person in the lobby they were about five seconds apart by the end of the race so they was all having a great time they was having a lovely battle going back and forth with each other and then i'm just there up by myself really really bored but on the flip side if i was to then tr intentionally try and go slower that wouldn't 
be fun for me either. Um, so w when you do get to a certain level in the game, the only time you can really have quote unquote fun or challenge yourself is either in aerial races when you're racing against the best of the best, which a lot of time ends up being less fun and more like stressful and super triardy and rage inducing sometimes, um, or you get fortunate enough to be in like a discord call with the boys and intentionally just try and like hunt each other and take each other out. Those are your two options. Um, so th there's my little, it's not even a complaint, I, I don't even know what to say of it, just just something that I noticed that the quicker and quicker you get, the, the less the, the less easy it is to just have a fun time on the game, which I think is why I like doing like the odd random things here and there, like the enduro and all that random stuff and elimination races, because it just adds adds something different, adds a, like a purpose to the races rather than just rocking up, winning and, and disappearing again. I think I'd prefer this track more than the first two that he's done, simply from a scaling perspective. So he's, he's very... Well, I don't even know the word for it. Like, very extreme when it comes to the scaling on the track. Like, some of the jumps are absolutely huge and the straights are long and the corners are wide open. But this one, I'm not sure if it's the layout of it or what, but it, it kind of suits that style a little bit more. And even on the 450, like jumps like this, this triple here, I mean, you might be able to make that on a 250, but it'll, it'll be a hell of a stretch. Um, but the track really suits uh, the 450 well and there's always been multiple line choices on his tracks so i think he puts in a lot of effort to make sure that multiple ruts are viable in each corner which is always a big w and looks wise it's got to be his best looking track uh, by far not even just like the off-track scenery not not just the skybox etc but on track with the the masking with the textures i think it looks really really good all the round and then i also like that he's one of the the few people these days that actually put some roughness into their tracks I know it probably doesn't sit great with the majority of the community. I feel like a lot of people probably don't like that about his tracks, um, but I do. They add another layer of difficulty in there. They make you search for some uh, smoother lines wherever you can find them. Beta 19 front end. Um, and uh, oh, also, another little tip, sorry. Beta 19, where it dropped recently. Uh, I don't know if it is just me and it's a placebo thing or if other people notice in this as well. Uh, with the front end, it seems to be a lot more washy than it used to be. It seems very easy for it to tuck compar comparative to how it used to feel. I just feel like the front end's a lot less stable in general. Um, basically, what I used to run on the 450 all the time everywhere was an 80 front end and a 120 rear end tyres. I have found, well I say I've found, Fatty Matty is the one that mentioned it and I've tried it and it's pretty decent, is try the 90 front end. It offers a lot more stability, uh, a lot less front tucks, however, there is a trade-off. Uh, if you, even on the 450, it's noticeable, it is it slows you down. So when I was trying to hot lap forest the other day, I had the 90 front end on and the front end felt, felt, felt great, you know, really, really stable in the turns, wasn't tucking much at all for me. Um, but the long left hand sweeper, before you hit that uphill quad, I was trying to hit that quad and I wasn't really getting close. I'm like, what's going on here? I usually like hit this no problem at all. Switch to the 80 and hit it no problem. So in terms of speed, the 90 does slow you down, but then it also provides a lot of uh, stability for you. So I suppose it's uh, like pick pick what you want, pick your preference. Would you rather have more speed, but the chance of the front end tucking more, where you've got to be just so much more precise everywhere, or would you rather have that 90 for the extra stability, um, but then be a little bit slower? The choice is yours. I would imagine most people would go for the more stability, just for generic public races. Um, but it does throw a bit of a spanner in the works for like the pro, the pro series, uh, especially if you go to like qualifying, etc. And like if you're doing a pro race, you can't really afford to give up any time at all because people are so quick at the moment. I suppose you're just gonna have to try and rock the 80 and be as, as perfect as possible. Um, but that, that's just a little insight. If you're struggling and the front end's tucking a bit more, uh, try the 90 out. If you're already running the 90 and it's still happening, um, skill issue. So I'm, I'm very impressed with Mr. Nugget, but I'm very glad that it wasn't a, a one and done in his track creating ventures. So I'm, it's, I'm happy to see that we keep getting uh, more and more tracks released from him. And uh, yeah, very, very, very proud, proud, proud dad moment. Happy to have him as, as part of the uh, the channel, part of the family. So thank you very much, sir. And just keep keep plugging away, keep keep working at it. And I'll be uh, sure to play each and every one of the tracks that you make. Uh, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this. And if you have played the track as well and want to give any sort of feedback, positives, negatives that you might have, uh, please leave them in the comments below. I'm sure Nugget will have a little read through and see what everybody thinks of it. Um, but I'm a fan. I am. I like the roughness. Ooh. 
Oh, don't, don't die, don't die. I like the faces, the jumps as well. They don't have any like weird kicks or booters to them. I like the alternative lines. I like the skybox and I like the nighttime feel. Again, we don't get many nighttime tracks these days. Um, so let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. If you enjoyed this video, drop a like, please. And subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's very much appreciated. And I hope you have a lovely rest of the day, whatever you're up to. And I will see you all in the next video. Peace. Lins in the zone, never back in now. Right, MX bikes, he's the tour for the channel. 2022 champ with a YouTube crown. His game is tight, no signs of slowing down. Late nights, bright lights, he's chasing that fame in the digital arena. Right in his name, she's a 10 out of 10. Support his lane, hairline might proceed, but his passion's the same.